Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. And if you're new, here we share good food from the Geordie Kitchen. This is your weekly rundown of everything we've been having for tea this week. Starting from Monday, going all the way through to Sunday. So last Monday we had pizza. It's a lovely pizza from Lidl. Really, really delicious. You definitely be going back for some more of these. It's a meaty feast. And we had our usual onion rings on the side. These were from Aldi, uh, a little as well, Aldi. <laughs> and they were lovely. The battered ones were delicious. And a bit of dip. So that was Monday. So on Tuesday I had some leftover sauce from Swedish meatballs and a big bag of Swedish meatballs in the freezer so I decided to do something a bit different and make a Swedish meatball pasta bake. And this was so nice, so tasty. And just fuss free, it was all done in the oven. So I just warmed through that sauce, put a little bit of extra cream in just to, to bring it back to life. Boiled a bit of pasta, this was spiral pasta for about 8 minutes. And then just put it in a dish. I done it this way to make sure the meatballs were evenly distributed. And what happened when it went in the oven, It um, the pasta absorbed all of that lovely sauce and went crispy on the top. It's definitely something different to do with your leftovers. I like to use my leftovers if they're in the freezer. It's great for when you're just really busy. So this is it from the oven. As you can see, it was all crispy and oh, it was delicious. This fed two of us really comfortably. And I thought garlic bread would have distracted from that lovely flavour of the sauce, so we just had some crusty bread with that on the side. The bake at home baguettes. We just buttered them really well and had that with it on the side. There it is. <laughs> So that was Tuesday. So Wednesday we had some burritos. I haven't had these for so long. I was a bit disappointed in the size of the wraps that came in the kit. But we made do. We had some of this rice on the side. Because I had that in the cupboard for so long. So I thought we'll use that up as well. We had some really crunchy onion rings. <laughs> I just done these in the air fryer. That rice. And some more dip on the side.
So on Thursday we had creamy garlic chicken. Two teaspoons of garlic in that sauce. <clears throat> Excuse me. It's a really simple sauce, just butter. Fried the garlic in the juices of the chicken and some butter. And then put some plain flour in to make a roux. And that's just some chicken stock going in there. And that single cream, most of a tub that I had left in the fridge, it's a 300 ml tub. And I put just a little sprinkling of mixed herbs in as well. Right at the end, because I didn't want the flavour to be too overpowering, I just wanted the flavour of the garlic to shine. <laughs> you just pop the chicken breasts back in, cook them most of the way through. And the juices that have come out of the chicken, they go in as well. And that was some rice and wild rice mix that I had. So just cook that. And serve the chicken and the sauce over that. It was very nice, very tasty. I also done some green beans in the oven, roasted them with some butter, so they weren't all crunchy, they were lovely. So on Friday we had fish chips just pulled out from the freezer. Little frozen chips, frozen fish from Tesco, haddock fillets that I had still left in the freezer. So that was nice and easy on Friday. Yeah, that was some bread and butter. So this was Friday evening. This is a pork loin joint that I had in the freezer, which I'd marinated because on Saturday we were having a fake away. So. We made lots and lots of different components. This is the prawn toast that I made. This was just prawns pureed with some soy sauce and seasonings. I have lots of this left over for the freezer as well, so we'll be using that up again this month. <laughs> this is all you do to make them. They keep really well in the freezer as well. And just for a bit of fun, we thought we'd put our chips and gravy in the little cartons because we wanted it to to look like it had come from the Chinese. I know it's silly. <laughs> That's the Chinese gravy that I bought on Wednesday from the Asian supermarket. 
So we made some special fried rice with that red pork, chicken and prawns in. I don't like peas in the special fried rice, so I didn't put any in. And we had that red pork on the top. That Chinese roast pork it was delicious. And these are the gravy and chips from the garden. Well, it did look the part. We saved a lot of money making it ourselves, but making all the different components, it was time consuming. But it was lovely. And there's the prawn toast cooked. We just cut it in triangles, cooked it, fried it. And had a little side. We also had some prawn crackers that we bought as well that we just deep fried. I'd done that earlier in the day, so I just covered them over. They were lovely. Really, really fresh. Very nice meal Saturday. So on Sunday we had beef casserole, just a Coleman's packet, and all I did was that was put it in my multi cooker with some onion powder. And one of my lovely subscribers told me about rainbow mash, so I decided to have rainbow mash on Sunday with the beef casserole. And rainbow mash, he said, was just all your veg, as much veg as you want. That's what we did. So we did swede, carrot, some leeks and some potatoes. This is Mr. Howie mashing it all up, all up together for me. So this is the swedes and carrot. We wanted to keep it quite whole. So we had chunky veg in with the smooth mash and a bit of butter. And then the fried leaks at the end it was delicious very very comforting very tasty we'll definitely definitely be having that again so thank you to my lovely subscriber who told me all about rainbow veg rainbow mash So we had that with some beef casserole. Is it beef casserole? Beef stew. <laughs> it was very simple, but it was just delicious. And we had some frozen Yorkshire puddings from the freeze it to go on the side I was going to put some broccoli on but we just thought that was enough with all the veg in the mash and it was lovely lovely when it was cold yesterday just to have that so pudding was my apple cake which would be next week's featured recipe it's butterscotch apple pecan cake. So I went through lots and lots of different recipe variations and cake mixes for this. But we got there eventually. And we had that with some cold double cream and some extra toffee sauce. And that was beautiful. It was so easy as well. It's just a little bit of chopping at the beginning and then... You have a beautiful cake, which I think we're going to share it with the family. Take some over to the family today, to my girls and my son. So that was the meals of the week. I hope you enjoyed it. I'll be back through the week, Wednesday or Thursday with a shopping haul. And then again for the recipe of the week on Saturday. So I hope you have a really, really good week, everybody. 
take care of yourselves and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.